Today on CCX News, improving water quality of area lakes and streams. How you can step up to help. Minnesota has more than 12,000 lakes and 92,000 miles of streams, but the state could use some help monitoring the water quality. For more than 50 years, volunteers have gathered data for the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. Delane Cleveland met up with a local volunteer to see how it works. It's an extension of my backyard, basically. On a nice spring day. There's a ton of trails, there's wildlife, it's peaceful. It doesn't take much to get Tammy England out to Elm Creek Park. It's 10 minutes from my house, so it's nice to have a place like this so close to come and you know, be with nature, enjoy nature. But for the last two years, her nature walks have required her to carry around a little more equipment than usual. Tammy is one of 1,200 people who have signed up to be a volunteer water monitor for the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. It's something small and easy that I can do that brings meaningful data to the MPCA, to inform them of water quality trends. The program requires people to collect data that helps the MPCA determine the overall health of a lake or stream. Our staff only monitor in a watershed every 10 years. And so our volunteers prevent the data gaps in between those 10 years. The body of water that Tammy has to monitor is Elm Creek. Okay. To collect the data she needs, she tosses a bucket into the creek fills it with water, and then she pours that water into a long tube. Next, she drops a small disc into the tube. And we drop it further and further down into the tube to see if it comes to a point where it disappears and we can't see it anymore. This test shows 100% clarity. She then jots down a few notes to send back to the MPCA, and then she's done. That's it. That's as simple as that. The entire process only takes about five minutes, but the data she collects has a lasting impact on the environment. So we wouldn't be able to run the water clarity trends or do the assessments that we need to without our volunteers. In Maple Grove, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. The MPCA needs volunteers to measure water clarity twice a month during the summer. To sign up, we have a link on our website at ccxmedia.org. Meanwhile, two Plymouth lakes have been removed from the state's impaired waters list. Bass Lake and Palmerlow Lake were previously impaired because of pollutants like phosphorus that entered the lakes from stormwater runoff. Both lakes had harmful algae blooms that not only can limit water recreation, but also damage the lake's ecosystem. Plymouth officials credit two decades of work by Lakeshore property owners, the Shingle Creek Watershed Management Commission, and the city for both lakes' removal from the list. Students usually aren't encouraged to paint on the walls of their school, but as Kevin Miller reports, one student at Cooper High School is showing off her culture through her skills with a paintbrush. I did like a lot of trial and error. Odalis Hoyerta Anzaldo finds freedom inside her paintings. You get to really express yourself. You get to freely do whatever you want. You can make mistakes. I feel like in art, it's very important to make mistakes because that's how you learn and that's how you grow. As an IB art student, she's leaving an indelible mark on the Cooper hallways. She's painting a mural for her final project this year. I think my favorite part is definitely creating the characters. I think the characters all have like a little touch of like my culture. And I think that it's very nice to incorporate not just the scenery, but the people. This mural, a Mexican street scene, was inspired by trips to visit family. I love to go in December especially because they really do a lot of like parties and a lot of celebrations. It's a proud heritage that she wants to show off. I want them to see where I come from, what um, inspires me the most. I think most of my art is very reliant on my inspiration of Mexico. What I love about her work and her work ethic is she's always working from her heart and also from her culture. Her painting teacher says she's remarkable beyond her talent with a paintbrush. She's just loving and kind, helpful. She helps everybody else before herself sometimes. And now she's planning to become an art teacher, helping students along their painting journey. I would love to continue to do what I love to do and teach it to other people and to inspire them to continue to figure themselves out. In New Hope, Kevin Miller, CCX News. Odalis plans to attend Concordia University in St. Paul after graduating. 
The owners behind the popular Travail restaurant in Robbinsdale are up to something new, but this time they're looking at a restaurant in another part of the metro. Travail Restaurant Group submitted plans for a 3,200 square foot restaurant in Bloomington, near Highway 169 and Old Shakopee Road. The Minneapolis St. Paul Business Journal reports it's another Pig Ate My Pizza restaurant. The previous Pig Ate My Pizza in Robbinsdale closed in 2021, but continued to serve its pizzas in the newly rebranded Novell Brewing, which opened a short time later. Pig Ate My Pizza was selected among the top 10 pizzerias in the nation by Food & Wine magazine. Finally, words of inspiration, thanks to the class of 2024. We'll leave with words from one of the speakers at Wyzetta High School's commencement address. Although there is no final scorecard for when life takes its course, it is the fleeting instances, brief encounters, and small moments that truly make life what it is. So to my fellow classmates, as you walk out these doors tonight with your well-deserved diploma in hand, I want to be the first to say congratulations, and I wish you all of the moments yet to be experienced that in actuality make life good. Thank you. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku.